Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box, the technical trader at TechTrader.com. It's Tuesday, the 13th of December. And although it wasn't quite turnaround Tuesday, the market exploded at the opening on massive futures uh, action based on the uh, economic news that came out today and inflation numbers. Um, but a big, big profit taking took place and then a late bounce. So they ended up positive, but it wasn't a stellar day. Nevertheless, they held on to the gains and um, a lot of stocks reacted today. Let's take a look at some biotech stocks. By the way, biotech stocks really running here. A lot of them are. Our Celex, uh, after a big move in May, the sort of stock go from the six range all the way up to the mid 20s, 27, I believe. Yeah. Um, then it settled into a six month consolidation. But boy, did it break out three days ago. Stalled the day, and then today advanced another 316 or 11%. The volume's been heavy, and I think the stock may be headed low to mid 40s. A CMR in the semiconductor group exploded too, but popped from 9 to 12, finished 10, 18, up 146, a 17% gain. And volume was the heaviest we've seen all, all going on an up day anyway, going way back to March of last year, so uh, March of this year. So if you take a look at the core that developed and the breakout today, it wasn't a stellar close, but now you tested resistance and backed off, but it finished at that breakout point. So keep an eye on this one going forward because I think it may make additional progress first to retest well. Then to get to 13 and a half and 14 and a half for our next targets. AGQ silver is running. And I told you it reversed when we saw the volume of the stock break out above resistance and out of its base. Retest form a nice little wedge in here. Hold moving averages. That was key. There's your wedge. And there's your breakaway gap and pop of extension. Now I'm looking for a move to about 36 next target. BOX, tech trader swing trade broke out. We put a swing on it and extended today. It made a, a, a six month high. And now I'm looking for an extension that takes it even higher to test the April high, comes in around the 33 range. Beyond that, I'm looking for 35 and 38. Dada, D A D A, a Chinese retailer, or perhaps I think it is, maybe wrong, but the bottom line is, the breakout above the moving average, they crossed over. They were retested. It moved up. We have a triple top in this area here. We get through this area. We're looking at 9 and 11. <clears throat> DocuSign broke out today. It's a long downtrend. But so this thing dropped from 300 range down into the low 40s. Formed the base. <clears throat> exploded. And it's now up five days in a row. It broke out above everything. The next target has to be in the high 60s, 67, 68. Support now, 54. FLNC exploded and broke out. Utility stock that it's on the run. Power generator, I should say. The bottom line is it's gone up for five days in a row and it's moved from 14 to 23 and change before backing off. At this point, however, I'm a believer the stock is in play and I'm looking for 27 and a half next. Butu, premier Chinese player, I believe. Nice base broken out, steady rise. We get through this level, 75 and 85 are targets. MRNA, big move today. Check this out. 28 million shares broke out of a month long flag, broke out of a base. Highest level we've seen since January. Next target, probably up around 233 and then 260. MXL. Breaking out of a wedge and popping through resistance, the next target is 42 and 47. That's a member of the semiconductor group that's emerging. And I see another utility regulated gas, New Fortress Energy, popped out of a falling wedge today and moved from 4570 to 5228, finishing 4967. Now, 447, a 10% gain. But more importantly, I think it's going to run back into the 6063 range. That's my target zone. OM, tax traders, ongoing swing. Added another 203 or 8.5% today. Wanted to show it to you. The next target is near 27, and we should get there or might get there as early as tomorrow. Great looking chart. Another tech trader swing, Puma, coming out of a big base pattern, forming a beautiful coil and popping out. My next target, 665. Pinterest, wanted to show you this one. Big, big move, um, 2021, and then a peak at around 89.90. Um, all the way down into the mid-teens, popped up, and now look at this consolidation base, but today it popped 281 or 11, 
Mine was a hefty 38 million shares. I believe it's going to break out. Next target is if we get through 28, might be something around 31. RNG tech trader swing popped out and pulled back. Um, maybe not ready yet, but I do think if and when the test takes out 42, my next target, I'm looking for 46. Solar stocks look good. Run in particular with a pop and a platform uh, moved up 175 or 6% today. And once it gets through today's high at 33, we're looking at a run to 38.9. Saba moving again. It broke through the declining top sign yesterday and had a bit of a follow through today. <clears throat> this is the highest level achieved since back in early October. I think we're going to test the spike high at 51 and one and a half short term. SMMT, monster move that saw it go from literally from 66 cents in four or five days to 450. And a pullback to test the, this area this seems to be support now at two and a half. Resistance now at 415 and four and three quarters. But if it gets up to four and three quarters, looking at a six, seven dollar stock. VLN, nice base breakout, pullback retest, and now it's popping again. This is a semiconductor, a junior. Um, any move above today's high, 558, and we're looking at six and a quarter and seven. VTYX, breaking through the decline top line, kind of a falling channel. Coming through resistance at 30 today, and popping up to 38.53 from 29.44, nine point run, and then a pullback to 34.50, closing up about six dollars. Nevertheless, looking for a test of 43 with a all-time highest. And finally, WBE also popped a wedge. It's been really channeling nicely since it was a buck and change, $1.16 back in May. It made it all the way up to 531, pulled back, now it's wedging. Today's pop took it 366 to 509, finished 481 upon 20, a 33% gain. Once we get above the 530 range, I'm looking for a $7 stock. That's a look at some very hot, Junior type stocks, there's a couple of others that weren't juniors like MRNA, but for the most part, every one of these looked promising and bullish. For now, HB out. Have a great evening. Good night, everybody.